I guarantee you that this is the only Bellroy Tokyo work bag review that you'll ever need to watch. And you're gonna wanna watch this whole video because if this is not the bag for you, at the end of the video, I'll make some alternative recommendations for bags that I think might better suit your needs. Let's start off with the gist of the Bellroy Tokyo work bag. If you don't know who Bellroy is, get excited. Bellroy is one of the biggest like indie backpack manufacturers in the world. Based in Australia, they specialize in a style that I would always refer to as as quirky urban. They've just created such an identity for themselves. They nailed their aesthetics, and this is why they become one of the biggest backpack brands that I've ever reviewed. And this is one of their messenger bags. Actually, it's one of the first messengers I've reviewed by Bellroy. A really impressive amount of organization. It's advertised as a 20 liter, but let me tell you, it feels very tight for 20. It feels and functions more like a 15 liter, in my opinion. The materials are 100% recycled fabrics and linings, and some really nice, subtle, classy, eco-tanned leather accents. The bag currently comes in three color options, Midnight, Navy, and this guy, Slate. It comes in weighing around 1.9 pounds. This is the messenger when it's empty, and this is the messenger when it's full. I'm gonna pack it out throughout this entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. This is the messenger on me. For reference, I'm five foot eight. Like all Bellroy products, this is backed by a three year warranty. And for all you see before you, this bag runs around 180 US dollars. And it's important to note, if at any point, in this review, you're like, holy yes, I'm going to Tokyo. Take me to Tokyo with you. And you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price. And it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. Okay, first up, we're gonna kick off the review by talking about the outside of the Bellroy Tokyo work bag. First up with the front, we really just have the aesthetic, right? Bellroy's minimalist aesthetic is just reigning supreme right now. I love what they're bringing to the table. And this is sort of their calling card, this leathery tab. We got this little cut right here, which helps kind of bring the fabric together a little bit and also provide a little bit of functionality. Behind this little lip right here and this leather tab, we have the first compartment. This compartment has one, two pockets. These pockets are pretty big. I mean, so you have like this cutout right here and that's the actual size of each pocket. The left pocket has no additional internal organization, but it does have a key ring. This key ring holder is made by Duraflex. They make some of the best hardware in the game and it's a really nice little G hook, right? You just go ahead and pop your keys on and it's actually easy to take your keys off as well. I like the location of this key ring holder for two reasons. One, it kind of sits in this pocket so it keeps your keys quiet, it keeps your keys nice and tidy. But also when you are sort of out and about and you're just getting home, long day at work, doing meetings, you know, looking so cool with your Bellroy Tokyo work bag, it's just really accessible, right? The keys are right here, which makes it easier to open, unlock your door, all that jazz. But it's also a really big pocket. Like, so if your keys are just kind of like down here at the bottom, you have all this real estate, which is good because there's more space for organization. Organization. But it's also kind of bad because then your keys are kind of getting like lost in like the whole situation that is this pocket. I'll show you why in a second because the other pocket has a bit more organization. This one has two pen holders and a larger pocket here as well. Now, now these pockets are interesting to me because I like them and I don't. I love them because I love this interior color. It's a light creamy color. It creates a highlight effect, which is nice because it gives, you know, it makes it easier to find your stuff because these pockets can be like a little tight, right? It's like, so you're kind of trying to see what's in there. It's a little black holy. I mean, you know, it's creamy, but like, it's also dark. So let's kind of load them out so you can see what I'm saying. All right, so I got stuff. Let's start with the easy stuff. Two pens in each pen pocket holder. That one was easy. This little pocket, I'm gonna throw my portable battery in case the phone dies. And then I got, you know, a lot of extra space. That's kind of the thing with these. So, you know, screw it. That's where I'm gonna put my wallet. I like the setup of this because these are things that I might wanna grab fast. My wallet, my portable battery. Other things that I might wanna grab fast are a snack, tissues, Tylenol. So I'll put that in here. Maybe a mask in case, I don't know, shit gets weird, you never know these days. I'll put my AirPods on the other side, passport with the wallet, right? So, cause these pockets are strange because they're so big that you really wanna fill them up, but they're kinda tight and lack organization. But you know, if you're like not the super organized, I like a spot for everything type person, then this will work for you, right? And then with the keys, you know, like I got my health stuff in here, right? That's with my keys. And then, you know, finding your keys, it ain't gonna be hard. You just kinda, keys, boom. But you know, you can see what I'm talking about looking in there. It's 
little tight. Now on the sides, uh, nothing on this side to talk about, but on this side, we have something interesting for a messenger, which is a water bottle holder. So you can see right here, I have a 500 milliliter. Let's see if it fits. I don't think it's going to. Ooh, I stand corrected, it absolutely does. But it's definitely going to be limited in terms of like, the girthiness of a water bottle that it can hold. So I would double check if you have a water bottle that you're in love with, make sure that it fits the specifications. It's good for this, but I can tell you I would not have much room to spare, maybe ever so slightly. But what's nice is that a lot of messenger bags don't even have this, or if they do, it looks super ugly. Biltmore's done a really nice design job of just sort of making this like fold in itself, especially when the messenger is closed. I mean, you wouldn't even know that a water bottle pocket is there. We'll talk about the back in a second, but real fast, let's talk about carrying this guy, right? We've got two options. You are either in briefcase handheld mode or messenger shoulder strap mode, which you can do either over the shoulder or kind of cross body like this. Handheld mode rocks. These handles are very soft to the touch, really well stitched, but not so soft as to where I'm worried that the material is not gonna be durable. Maybe a little more padding would have been nice. I think ever so slightly, I would have appreciated that. But to make up for it, like I said, it's really well stitched. You can see like it's like power stitched here. It's all stitched along the sides. You got this stitching right here. So like these handles aren't coming out anytime soon. So if you carry like a heavier weight, that'll be steady. But also if you're carrying a lot more weight, I wouldn't carry it in this mode, I'd carry it in messenger mode, right? Because that's the whole point of this thing. Similarly on this shoulder strap, this is significantly more padded, squishy and comfy. And that's fine, because you'd expect that, right? I mean, like look at this foam, like I can't emphasize enough the squishiness, like it's a really satisfying touch. And we'll test out exactly how that feels once this messenger is packed out, but I have a feeling it's gonna be nice. On the shoulder strap, we have Bellroy's metal hardware. They use this on a lot of their bags. It's nice because there's no dangle with this solution, so it's nice and clean, and it's super easy to um, lengthen or to shorten. And taking off the shoulder strap is easy enough if that's what you wanna do, right? You're like, hey, I just wanna go in briefcase mode for the day. Then you have a similar metal buckle right here, G-hook, super easy to take on and to take off. And then on the back, we have two things to talk about, a luggage pass-through holder and this little compartment here. For this little compartment here, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, is that where your laptop goes? Absolutely not. Your laptop will be safe and secure in the main compartment. This would be a better location for things like books, documents, maybe even like a Kindle reader, but things that you want protected from the elements, I'd keep them in the main compartment because you have a P-coated zipper right here, which you know helps protect from rain. This though is better for quick access. Like I'm thinking if I'm on a flight, this is definitely where my reading and writing materials are going. So I'm gonna throw my book in there. I'm gonna throw my Kindle in there, double book in, and I'm gonna throw a moleskin notebook in there. And I like how Bellroy provided this nice, clean, tidy buckle system just to kind of keep everything in its place. Buckle's pretty strong. I wouldn't deck this compartment out with too many things. This luggage pass-through holder is gonna come quite in handy for obviously sliding it on your luggage. Now let's talk about the inside of the Bellroy Tokyo Work Bag. Like I mentioned earlier, it's accessible, the main compartment, with two PU-coated YKK zips, both of which have these delightful leather tabs on them. But here's what's interesting is oftentimes, messenger bags will have two zips in the middle that sort of open like this, right? Bellroy said, not gonna happen, which is good and bad. It's good because it sort of allows a lot better opening, right? So you can see when I do one zipper to that side, now this expands fully, right? So for a messenger, that's nice. And then doing so on the other side, allows you to have that super nifty water bottle holder design and yet again, access this side as well. We have a top pocket right here, leather tab, YKK zip, and this beautiful, lovely mesh material. This mesh is soft to the touch and has a really nice expandability to it. It's just gorgeous. And for those reasons, I think it's a great spot for my sunglasses, right? I'm gonna put my shades in there. They'll be nice and safe, but like, I'd also feel comfortable putting my Magic Mouse in there. Both maybe, sure. I mean, these are only $3 fake Ray-Bans that I bought in Vietnam a couple weeks ago, so they literally mean nothing to me. So sure, they're both going in there. I like that. And then below it, we've got two pockets, and these pockets are a little bit larger, and they also have expansion. That's where your bulkier bits of gear are gonna go. Namely, laptop charger, and maybe like a glasses holder, right? Laptop charger, no brainer. It's for my MacBook Pro, slides in there. Absolutely perfect. And then your glasses, you know, that can go right there. Like I said, bulkier, but any tech stuff I think will be really well suited there. For me though, I don't have any bulkier 
bits of tech gear. So I'm gonna throw some wires there just to kind of keep everything organized. For me, that makes sense. I like it there. Now let's talk about this laptop compartment. Bellroy advertises this laptop sleeve is big enough for a 16 inch. So therefore my 13 inch MacBook Pro will fit perfectly. We got a lot of nice padding here, right? So this is really well padded, a little, little hard, but still very well padded on both sides. I could have used a bit more padding, I think, on the back, but I think it's fine. And I could have used a little bit more of a false bottom. This false bottom isn't very falsy. It's kind of like, it's like to hear, it's, you know, it, you got a little something. And then below the laptop sleeve, we have this sleeve as well, which yet again, good for documents, good for a tablet, or potentially a good spot for your Bluetooth keyboard. But now let's talk about like that whole 20 liters, right? Because in theory, we should have 20 liters of storage here and it just, it just doesn't feel like it. So maybe if you take like the measurements, this adds up to 20 liters, scientifically speaking, but when using it, it definitely does not feel like that. So we'll load out that main compartment with a few more things. I got my uh, Sony headphones. I got a wash pouch from Wandered. We'll throw a jacket on top. This is from Cuts, my favorite clothing brand. And you can see we're pretty full. I could fit more than this in a 20 liter bag, but this 20 liter messenger, we're pretty much so at full capacity. Let's test it out when you're wearing it, now that it's fully packed out. Brief mode is fine. I wouldn't recommend like carrying heavy messenger bags in brief mode for too long. I mean, it's, just, it's not very comfy. But note real fast, as this bag is packed out, so this buckle came undone. I don't know how well this buckle is going to stay on, especially as the bag fills out. But messenger mode, yeah, that's nice. They threw some TLC into the shoulder strap. I am really liking it. I can't get over that squishiness. Ultimately, a uh, messenger bag will never be as comfortable as a backpack, but nothing against them. I mean, I love messenger bags. I love backpacks. In fact, I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually building my own backpack here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. I know, cool, right? And not only that, but I'm actually getting the community, AKA you, involved in the process. So if you wanna see what it takes to build a game-changing backpack from the ground up and you wanna help us vote on some of the key features of the bag that we're building? Then take a look at the second link in the description below. That link will sign you up to our email list where you can learn more about our project and start voting on key features right away. I hope to see you in your inbox. Overall pros and cons of the Tokyo work bag. Overall pro number one, like all Bellroy products, it looks amazing. Overall pro number two, really impressed with the comfort of the shoulder strap. And overall pro number three, I love the PU coated zipper in the main compartment and also how they did one zip on each side. Just the whole main compartment is actually pretty well done. But on the flip side, let's talk about a few cons. Con number one, the access and just overall functionality of these two front pockets. It's okay. Con number two, the buckle on this uh, back Compartment keeps coming undone. And con number three, I would have liked to maybe just seen a little bit more padding on the hand handle. So let's say that you are weighing out the pros and the cons and you have decided that you love it. You're totally getting one. Then remember, we do ask that you use the first link in the description. Remember, that link will get you the best price. There's some Bellroy knockoffs off there. You do not want to get a knockoff. But using that link will also help to support our Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. But let's say you're not quite sold. Here, as promised, are a few alternative recommendations for other bags that might better suit your needs. Alternative recommendation number one is going to be the Nomadic Messenger. This is gonna be a great alternative for you if you prefer a messenger that's a bit more techy, businessy, maybe not so quirky, but still brings a lot of features to the table. If that sounds like you, take a look in the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Peak Design Messenger. This is for you if you kind of like the Bellroy style, but you also want your messenger to kind of double up as a photography messenger. Peak Design makes some of the best photography gear on the planet. So to learn more about it, take a look in the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. And finally, if you're still not sure, check out our third recommendation, which is going to be the Air Tech Sling 2. And it's kind of like a sling meets a messenger, meets like half a backpack. It's really innovative. It can do a lot. It's a little bit tidier and smaller, and you can watch it here. Like I said, it's bringing a lot of innovation to the table. Be sure to check it out. My name's Aaron, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.